Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Vile. He made his first appearance in Detective Comics, Volume 1, issue number 1034, that was released in May of 2021. His complete name is Hugh Vile, and for the most part, he's been a possessed human male that stands approximately six feet tall with a slim build, also having green eyes and brown hair. Now, whenever Hugh is manifesting his parasitic infection, it shows up as him having grotesque mandibles, which are very similar to that of the Yaucha species, aka predators, and also having mouth dangling tendrils and his eyes start glowing. This disgusting throat dwelling parasite behaves and functions very similar to Marvel's Clintar symbiotes that give us the infamous anti-hero Venom. However, obviously the vile parasite is just that, a parasite and not a symbiote, with it eventually taking complete control of its host while burning out its carrier's mind. This vile parasite has given his primary host, Hugh, a multitude of abilities, which happen to get stronger with each act of violence, since aggression itself is the primary energy source for the parasite. With each murderous act, the carrier gains more low-level superhuman strength, speed, agility, and durability, being capable enough to overwhelm most any civilian victim, as well as overwhelming skilled combatants like the Huntress and Batman well enough to be able to infect them. Which leads me to Vile's next disgusting ability, which is to be able to implant a piece of its biomass in anyone's throat, causing them to become mind-controlled puppets for the main host. This only seems to be able to be slightly resisted by the most powerful indomitable wills, but for everyone else, it's a wrap. The only weakness that the vile parasite seems to have is being susceptible to bright lights and UV rays. Now, we learned that Hugh was infected when he was a small boy, somehow contracting the pathogen when he was swimming in a lake. He would begin to manifest sickness and odd behaviors, and when he was taken to the doctor to be examined, they would note what they thought was a random fungal infection that needed to somehow be removed from his throat. Albeit, this seemed to clear up and it never happened, mostly due to the charades that the vile parasite was playing with the boy's mind, gaining more and more control over him to the point where he felt like they were one mind and that they needed to stay together. We'd later see Hugh Vile as an adult, returning to Gotham City as a staffer for the mayor. But of course, the ulterior motive was to add chaos to the already extremely violent Gotham City and feed off of this murderous energy. A series of odd murders in Gotham City would put Batman and Huntress on the track to find Vile. One of these deaths actually being Sarah Worth, who was the beloved daughter of a very powerful and wealthy Gothamite named Mr. Worth who Vile would end up manipulating to cause even more chaos throughout the city, almost taking out Bats and Huntress in a plot that used the reporter Deb Donovan as bait. Huntress would finally be tipped off by the Oracle who realized that Vile was the one poisoning and taking control of victims. But when Huntress confronts the seemingly docile man, he would manage to infect her before she could get away which would lead the young hero to get in a confrontation with Batman, barely being able to restrain herself while telling Batman how to use light to defeat them. Although this wouldn't be before Batman himself gets infected by this disgusting mouth crawler. This would lead to Batman being used to stoke violence as well, being puppeted to go after the powerful Mr. Worth, who ironically was hunting Batman, thinking that the Dark Knight was responsible for his daughter's death. We'd see a degree of resolution to these problems when we learned that most of the infected have began treatment with a mixture of chemicals and ultraviolet, which is causing their parasitic infection to shrink. This culminates with the now self-aware Huntress taking out the primary vile parasite, who tried to expel itself from Hugh and permanently take her over, but in the process got skewered by Huntress's crossbow and left Hugh catatonic, with Batman also being released from its control. However, this is not the end of the vile parasite, because we see that during Hugh's autopsy, he was filled with tiny mobile eggs, of which several rolled away. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his brief influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Vile a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.